Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about this part 2 Spring 26 top new features about the Salesforce admin development LWC and Agent Force. So if you are not aware about the part 1, so you can watch my last video because I already explained you most of the feature in the first video and rest of the feature now I will be discuss in this video. So if you are new in this channel, I requested you all please like, share, comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more update so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so let's get started without any wasting time so this is the first feature here like in the salesforce go experience you will be see lots of filters last time these features was not available directly in your org but in this spring 26 you will be see this search box and the you know filtering this uh, drop down box so you can filter out your features based on your requirement and it's very helpful for us if you are working on this salesforce go instance so it's very useful for us okay so this is the first feature you can just use this go experience smarter filters and enhance search okay so this is the first feature let's see the next feature is a streamline administrative task with setup with agent force still in beta but uh, if you need to create custom object custom fields or any kind of related stuffs in salesforce admin so you can just directly ask with agent force and based on the agent force so it's automatic created you know your metadata based on your you know prompt so it's based on the agent force capabilities and the topics so it's automatic created like custom field custom objects this is some uh, something related to our you know day by day routines so you can just create this kind of things using this streamline administrative task with setup with agent force let's see the next feature is like speed of custom level updates in translation workbench okay so last time this feature directly not available in the inline editing in the custom level translation so as you know everything in uh, salesforce have the its own custom level or you know translation of the custom level or you know any fields so you can translate based on your local language or you know different types of language as we have so here you can see this setup one like setup component so you will be seeing a new feature this custom level drop down and once you select it if you have your custom level related to any kind of languages because i already selected like chinese traditional that's why you can see like custom level value and the custom level translation so my custom level value is this is demo and the custom level translation is this one so this is chinese translation so you can just translate your custom level based on your need so this is very useful feature in this release okay so let's move the next feature like use complex template expression in your lightning web component it's still in beta but you can use like this i have created this example but uh, if you need more about it so i will create next video regarding the lwc new feature in spring 26 so you can go through that one as well so this video only for the you know teaser hunt of new features regarding this is release okay so this is the complex template expression and how to define it very simple just you can define your variable inside your js file and use that variable inside your curly bracket and right now i'm using like first name emp first name and the last name and just concatenate with the help of this plus operator right after that i have another variable and that is property in the javascript like emps and the some ternary operators right after that same thing for this emp salary and this is a boolean one okay so this is how you can define your complex expression in your lightning web component i will create another video regarding the lwc new feature so please stay tuned after that uh, you will be learn lots of things regarding the lwc okay so you have to keep in touch and then you will be see these all new features in upcoming videos okay so let's see next feature is display consistent empty state illustration with theme support in beta okay so last time whenever if you don't have any data in your illustrations right so it's showing like no item or something like a blank screen but in this release you will be see this by default illustration things 
and this is the by default illustration theme and with some you know uh, contents so based on the you know empty states is showing this kind of illustration okay so let's see the next feature is like manage page error with error console user interface so now in the gate setup if you click on the setup and then you will be see new option that is error console or once you clicked on it then definitely you will be see this kind of screen and it's contain the uncaught error or that is called like unrelated or we can say that like uh, uncaught action failed it's related to the you know behind the scene what happening at the time of you know instance loading everything you can track with the help of this error console screen it's very useful for us so please go through this feature if you need like uh, unwanted error or you know uncode error so you can just go ahead for this app and just find out okay let's see the next feature is use dark mode in more addition so right now this feature is still in beta but uh, you can leverage this kind of feature in any kind of development environment let's say develop pro uh, like sandbox partial sandbox full copy something like that or all the addition as we have like uh, enterprise addition professional development everything unlimited addition so this kind of addition you can find out this option right and whenever you see this dark mode beta you have to enable it okay and after that once you refresh your page then in the setup one you will be see new option that is called dark mode once you clicked it all this in the salesforce screen automatically dark based on your contrast or settings right after that you can just enable disable something like that or you can toggle it based on your need so it's up to you okay so let's see the next feature is deploy apex component faster by running only relevant test this feature is still in beta but it's very helpful for us at the time of ci cd pipeline right so no need worry about like if you have some few changes on particular test class or you know apex class right and then you want to deploy that kind of changes only so no need worry about like every time you have to execute all the tests in a single you know deployment no so this feature especially for the relevant change so suppose i just change one xyz class okay so these changes can be tracked by the you know this is is test and the test class will will run on the specific test class not all the tests suit right and also uh, it's a uh, uh, you know apply for the trigger as well you know apex class as well and trigger as well so these two features as of now you can maintain with the help of this syntax and you can leverage this kind of things so it's a kind of you know speed up or we can say the enhancement of the uh, deployment cycles okay so you can just use this feature if you want okay let's see the next feature is like new directory and i like this directory because it's a kind of you know bunching of the events or javascript events and you can bind all the events in a single event and then you can fire it using this directory and this directory name lwc colon on and then your event handler name right so it's very useful because i already told you like uh, if you need this kind of features so i will be create new video regarding the lwc feature so in upcoming days or upcoming maybe like a week okay so please keep in touch you will be seen in practical this kind of examples and directories let's see the next feature is like view flow uses so if you have like automation app and you want to check your flow where it is using so you can just directly go to this app like automation and just click on the flows and after that you will be see three tabs details version and finally uses once you click on it after that you will be see like uh, where we can see like a uh, flow versions where we can use an illustration as well you can see so you can track each and everything inside in a single tab right so this is kind of you know flow uses in a automation app let's see the next feature is like file preview screen component so this is very handy feature in this really because i know this is uh, this was very uh, you know tricky things in the flow last time but in this release you can just directly use this new component that is called file preview preview and drag and drop it and based on the 
you know content id so it's automatic track track your file preview in a single screen just you have to pass only you know content document id and based on it it's uh, you know so the file preview in a screen so this is a new component please keep it in mind let's see the next feature is assign flow test to the specific flow version for more controls so if you have like record trigger flow and definitely we need to write the test cases for the flows as well so it's a kind of point and click tool right so no need worry about like single line of code just you can just use the ui and create the test cases for the specific flows so now here you can see the set test details trigger and the path right and it will be run for the created at the time of creation of the record or updated the record and after that you can see select flow version so if you have like more than one version so all the version available here and you can just use the test cases for the specific version so this is very useful for us at the time of you know versioning of the flows and you can test a specific version at the runtime okay so this is the new feature as well let's see the next one reset debug setting in a screen flow so once you have the screen flow so previously this button is was not available right but in this release you can see this button and whenever you have like uh, some inputs let's say uh, like a record name or something like that like a uh, account rating and once you have this kind of options and you don't want to use that kind of option again and again just click on this reset debug setting and all the settings regarding this uh, account rating or you know account name is automatic reset as a blank right so this button is very helpful at the time of debugging your screen flow okay so let's see the next feature is compare screen flow version to track changes more efficiently okay so suppose i have two three version of my flow and i want to check or i want to comparison on the specific flows like what kind of changes i have did in the last time so you can just select this gear icon and see this so only changes changed item so this option only shows only changes item not regarding your you know past changes or something like that it's a recent changes uh, like in your flow so it's automatic so as a green right if you if you deleted something so it it, it will become like in a red color so all the red color comes here based on your need okay so let's see the next feature is agent for sales uh, chat gpt application is still in beta so this feature is very helpful for us whenever you have like salesforce agent for sales chat gpt application you can just connect salesforce to chat gpt so seller can view edit and summarize the salesforce data within chat gpt conversation so it's very helpful right so you can just connect your salesforce with your chat gpt and ask your question regarding your uh, application sales applications and uh, all the conversation you will be seen in single screen you can just view edit and summarize your you know conversation salesforce data in a you know single screen so this is the new feature as well let's see the next one use existing report setting when editing tables to dashboard it's generally available last time it was beta but right now it's available as ga right so this is the new setting like use table setting from reports so suppose if you have some setting in your report you can just directly exist the report setting when adding a you know table to the dashboard so all the setting automatically comes whenever you need this kind of settings okay let's see the next feature is make site pages more discoverable by ai so this is for the experience cloud in salesforce so whenever you need to improve your site pages in your seo or smo so always turn on this icon or turn on this button to provide container snapshots of public sites pages and requests by the ai bots bots right so generative engine organization that is called geo makes site page more discoverable by the ai so this is the new feature you can enable it and your site will be as discoverable by the ai okay this is for experience cloud only let's see the next feature is 
Salesforce migrate enhance and custom domains serving digital experience to the Cloudflare CDN. So as you know, Cloudflare is a third party tool, right? To detect your malware or you know some you know uh, like uh, something is wrong in your network, so it's automatic detect and verify the user is genuine or not. So you like as a Google Captcha or something like that. Also, it's automatic track everything. So this feature in the my domain setting you will be see use the cloudflare cdn to serve this domain so based on your domain it's automatic integrate your cloudflare cdn in your domain so this is also new feature let's see the next feature is protect your salesforce org and user by scanning files for malware it's still in beta but you can enable this setting using files and general setting under the general setting, you can see the options scan file for the viruses and malware. Okay, so suppose we have your Salesforce file, and now you want to scan or you know check the malware of the files. So you can just enable the settings and Salesforce automatic check these all scannings and malware in a single screens. Let's see the next feature is specify the number of async job to delete. So this feature was not available last time in the apex but in this release you can just define your you know async job in the you know queuable or any kind of you know uh, async apex as we have so you have to define this options like system dot purge old async job so behind the scene if something is running like a schedule job or you know queuable job and you want to delete some particular jobs so you can define this kind of syntax and you can delete uh, this all the async job in a single line of code right so this is a simple code you can delete it like maximum number of job to delete so i have defined like 1000 you can define any number of uh, you know maximum job here for the deletion okay and this is the syntax like system dot purge old async jobs and you have to pass two parameter first is date time now right and maximum number of job to delete so two parameters required for this method so you can take care about it okay so this is the new feature as well so let's see the next one track attempts to the user uninstall connected apps so suppose i have connected app as you know like connected app is deprecated as of now or nowadays so you have to move or migrate your connected app to the external client app okay so that's why you have to take care about it and whenever user want to uninstall any connected app so automatic track uh, that kind of you know uninstalling attempts in this field like last denied attempt due to usage destruction or these all kind of option available in the connected app auth uses okay so you can track it everything in a single screen let's see the next one so this is how or you can implement all the feature in your org so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative or knowledgeable session or videos so please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my end so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys bye bye